And speaking of the fall festival, hundreds of people have been in and out down there all day, and we're expecting that dinner rush anytime soon. Our very own 44 News anchor, Ben Thomas, is out there now. Ben, where can we find you? Well, Claire, along Franklin Street, you can actually find me somewhat near our usual tent on, tent on 11th. I'm just across from Edge Auto Sports down here outside of Booth 39, Kiwanis Evansville. And joining me now is Melinda from Kiwanis Evansville. First of all, how are you doing? How's the week going so far? Fantastic. I think we had the best start of any. We kind of, you know, have been here, done this many times. Um, but we, I think we had the best start ever, so we're very happy for that. You can't complain about that, that's for sure. Obviously, a lot of people are out here. But for maybe for people who don't necessarily know what your organization is, tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Kiwanis started um, just to help kids. Um, at the time, it was for, like, socks and shoes and uh, medical needs. And we kind of stay in that vein of really focused on kids. And we um, try to help kids right here. And we are a large... Um, uh, contributor to the um, Riley Children's Hospital so some of that goes to Indianapolis for Riley Children's Hospital but it helps kids here a lot of families that have been impacted by them so it's all about the kids yes it is it always is and obviously being out here what's that money you guys are raising is it going towards the hospital or uh, other events or things that you guys put together some of it will go um, towards Riley. Some of it will go towards, um, a lot of people know Kiwanis from awards banquets. So um, that's something that is voted on, um, not by Kiwanis members, but by the coaches and the team members. So we um, recognize outstanding students who may be athletes, students, musicians, um, tradespeople, and we recognize them yearly, and this goes into helping that. That's awesome. And obviously, I see the sign, try our delicious quesadillas. Is that the most popular item that you guys have been selling this week? Oh, my gosh. We always are trying to try, come up with new ideas and try new things. Last year, we started having the s'more idea, so we put s'mores in a quesadilla. And this year, we decided to try to get some balance between the really, really sweet things and try to go with something better for you. So we came up with a um, fajita chicken salad. Okay, that does sound good. I might have to try that. Well, definitely come on down to Booth 39, support an amazing organization. Thank you so much for taking the time Thank to chat you. with us today. Have a great night. You too. And def like I said, come on down to Booth 39. I'm also seeing cheesecake on a stick that is dipped in chocolate. So I might have to try that myself. That does sound delicious. But like I said, we're having a great time down here at the Westside Nut Club Fall Festival. It's nice to be out of our booth and actually roaming the streets a bit. But plenty of food options. That dinner rush is picking up here. The sun is shining. You can see it. It's right in my eyes right now. Wish I had my sunglasses. But we're having a lot of fun coming up on 44 News at 6. I will be on the other side of the street interviewing another amazing organization about the work they're doing. So stay tuned for that. But for now, Claire, sending back to you in the studio.